I think I came, like I wanted to help or I wanted to make a difference, like all those vague things that we can tell ourselves to make something crazy sound like a good idea. And to explain to all the family members who want to know why you're uprooting your life or all the people at church or who are wondering. But the ministry, I guess, sort of shifted and my, my like, desire for sharing the gospel kind of shifted because it wasn't any more like this um, evangelizing thing, but it was like people that I really love and that I like genuinely want them to know Jesus. <laughs> like God has reminded me so often of the story in Esther when Esther's like pleading for the life of her people and she says to the king like, this is what they mean to me. And I've thought of that very often because this is like my prayer now. Like, God, this is what these people and these kids mean to me. So much of it has been rooted in like building that relationship, building those relationships, um, coming to a place where we enjoy each other and we care about each other. And, and because I do believe that Jesus saves and that Jesus brings hope and light and redemption, um, even into the darkest places, like I want them to have that hope too. I feel like my role here is kind of twofold. Um, I'm working as an English and religion teacher, so I'm teaching uh, regular classes for some of the upper classmen at EGT. And then I'm also here as a mission partner through MCN. And I see that as uh, like a role of building relationships, uh, kind of acting as a mentor um, to these kids, and ultimately just building trust and being someone that they can talk to about tough issues because it's high school and no matter what country they're in, like this is a time of life where they're starting to explore difficult questions. We had this class about uh, one of my favorite stories, which is um, Jacob wrestling with God when he wrestles with the angel. In that story, Jacob like wins the wrestling match until God like touches his hip and puts it out of joint. And we're reading this and the student, Jujo, he just started laughing, like kind of flat out disrespectful laughter. And it surprised me very much because it was very unlike him. And he like can't even really contain himself. He just like bursts out between like laughter. God is weak. You know, everyone looks at me, what's she gonna do? Like he just, she just, he insulted your religion, your God. And I knew like how I reacted would be very important. And. I, I think like the Holy Spirit really sh showed me something in that moment like that I'd never thought about that story before because he said God is weak and so what I said to him I said um, I think that's exactly that's exactly right and they all kind of look at me because they weren't expecting that and I said can you think of another time that God like came down in human form and let himself be weak and let himself get beat up by humans um, and let himself even die and they all kind of look at each other and then one of them said, well, Jesus. And it was just this awesome, like one of my favorite moments of my entire time here because the gospel just got to be there and it got to be so like honest and in this conversation and all of them are listening. And, and I think that's the hard thing to like wrap our minds around that God would become weak and that God isn't so like full of his own Godness that he he stayed up in heaven to like lord it over us, but that he actually came and walked among us. I have a lot of hope with this specific student, with all these students, that maybe I don't get to see the the end result, but I really believe that God is planting and and growing things. Well, thank you so much for um, for listening and learning about. Slovakia and our work here, I'm always looking for people to partner with in this ministry and I think that specifically takes like two forms. One is through financial giving uh, because it does take resources to do what we do here to, to send teachers to bring people to do English camps here um, to help students uh, get to the U.S. Um, but also and definitely most importantly is 
prayer. It means a lot to me to know every day that there are people praying, not just for me, but for my students, um, for the school, for Slovakia. If you would join me in, in this way and, and partner with me to reach these kids with the gospel, it would be great. Thank you.